What is up, guys? I am David Land, and welcome to the presidential race here at Michigan Ooh. International Speedway, a two-mile super speedway. This, we've determined, is the best way to determine who will be the president of the United States. We have eight cars representing eight drivers and eight presidential parties today, and we can't wait to introduce them to you. But the first people we're going to introduce you to are my booth mates for today's race. And the first person is someone who has helped out an immense amount with today's video, particularly painting all these cars to represent the political candidates. There's a card coming up in the corner right now. I want you to go subscribe to Joe Donahue. Joe, what do you think about today's contest? I'm really looking forward to bringing this race to all of you watching. I did spend the time and effort to make these cars and uh, make the field look good for today's 25 lap race. I'm excited to see how it turns out. It will reflect exactly what is going to happen in this presidential election, like David has said. And we're in for some crazy racing, too. We've uh, seen that this is going to be quite exciting. And I'm not, and Joe is not the only one helping me out today. Also, to introduce you to, and you should be subscribing to him as well, M Racing 89 on YouTube, aka Matt Faust. What is popping in the voters' lives today? M Racing 89 here. It's going to be some fun action. Uh, they said everything else. What I did to contribute is I was Joe's frustration sponge. I took the frustration for him when he got mad. So, yeah, moral support guy right here. Enjoy well, the race. And with a lot of anger in today's political system, we can't wait to settle it on the racetrack. So let's take a look at the starting grid. So starting on the pole today, she's leading in the polls, but will she lead at the end of the day? It's Hillary Clinton representing the Democrat Party. Alongside her, no surprise, Donald J. Trump, the Republican nominee, Will he be able to pull off an upset victory today? We'll just have to find out. Row number two on the inside is Gary Johnson representing the Libertarians. You can see Feel the Johnson on the side. He's trying to feel the Johnson and not the wall today. On the outside is Jill Stein representing the Democrat or the Green Party. She is on the outside of Johnson and with an outside shot at victory today. On the inside of row number three is Evan McMullen, the independent candidate, He, though he considers himself a true conservative. And on the outside of him is Rocca de la Fuente for the Reform Party. And on the final row, on the inside, is Daryl Castle representing the Constitution Party. And on the outside, shotgun on the field, is Gloria Estela La Riva representing the Party for Socialism and Liberation. And the field rolls off for the presidential race. Now we've got a very special guest for the pace car driver. Uh, we picked him out of a focus group. And Joe, how about you tell us about him? All right. So a lot of you guys know this beautiful meme man from the second presidential um, debate, I believe. He's got a red cardigan. He split an olive green suit. He's concerned about I forget what I don't even think anybody cares about what he's concerned about anymore because he's just so I don't know meme genic that's a good word to use I was gonna say bony it's Ken bone in a Ken bone special car that is pacing the field to the green flag it's got a couple pictures of him in his red cardigan and it's good feel the bone Zone. Enter the bone zone. Same Enter thing. the bone zone. Feel Enter the Johnson. Zone. We've got eight presidential together, candidates. Again. <laughs> Are Go. we just gonna say all of the uh, all of the slogans? Uh, I forget what the other slogans are. I saw I read them because I had to research all these parties to make the cars. I forget what all of their slogans are. Well, the slogans aren't going to matter in 25 laps. Hillary Clinton leads them down for the green flag here at Michigan International Speedway. Ready to determine who's going to be the president of the United States. The green flag is out, and we are racing. 
We the people are driving cars into turn one now. And you can see they already start to spread out. Gary Johnson makes a move to the inside of Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton leads, but they're three wide behind. Wow. Ooh, they spread out almost four wide down the back straight away. McMullen down to the inside. He takes second place away from Trump, but Trump will get it back into turn number three. It's looking like he wants to make a move on that high side. Will he have help from Jill Stein here? Stein falls back uh, behind. Uh, she's getting help from Dilareva, or uh, not, but it's not helping there. It's Clinton leading lap one, Trump in second, McMullen third, Johnson fourth. Here comes Donald Trump down to the inside. Donald Trump For down Gary through Johnson. turn one. He makes that pass stick. Evan McMullen's going to try to go with him. Gary Johnson, no, McMullen pushes up. Three oh. wide. Oh, they bang off of each other. Ooh. Gary Johnson down to the inside being followed by the Constitution Party. Yeah, Constitution coming on the inside here. Will the Constitution Party white on the apron... And Clinton goes back to the front, getting help from Gary Johnson. We wouldn't have expected that. He can barely find Aleppo on the map, but he's finding the front right now, going down to the inside, trying to take the lead, and unable to do so. Clinton retains the lead on lap two. Gary Johnson has been very aggressive. Trump pulls out. What is he doing on the outside? we got three wide here. Thing. This might be a drama Dega thing where he pulls to the back, lets him crash in front of him pulls back up at this point he's in the middle of the mayhem are they gonna crash though is that the thing johnson down to the go. inside of clinton is he gonna be able to make a move here bid for the lead trump behind johnson he bailed out of uh trying to help mcmullen across the uh the line as they begin to fall through the field it G looks like the socialist liber liberation car of uh, gloria estella la riva keeps trying to make the top side work out of turn four with a partner it just does not work trump continues to follow clinton in fact clinton has led all three laps up to this point just as you Johnson say it it gets donald trump a really little angry and he's going to try to make a pass for the lead no but he doesn't have any drafting help it's gary, gary johnson, johnson pushing pure speed gary johnson's like really pushing hillary here that reform car's into the top three for the first time. Yeah, that's uh, that's De La Fuente. And here comes Trump. Is he going to be able to lead this lap? Lap number four? No. This lap, I think he's going to fall back. None of those third parties are really helping Trump that much, whereas Hillary's been getting a lot of help. Although, here comes Jill Stein. She might be able to help Trump. Get and Stein him. is pushing Trump to the front. Is she going to be able to do it? The Constitution. The Constitution Party is really supporting this inside line right now. <laughs> it's so true. Constitution pushing Trump to victory. There Two lanes of four drivers. This is a wow. 200 mile an hour, well, 164 mile an hour pace lap. And Donald J. <laughs> Trump, he's trying. He's going to try to lead this lap. And he's going to be able to do it. Donald J. Trump to the lead. Stein not sticking with the Constitution here. Not, what, not Four wide. Like four wide. Oof. Four God. wide. And Hillary Clinton becomes the person who does not get help by that four wide situation. She falls way behind. That's quite a view. Donald Trump's leading a big three wide battle. But for third. And now Clinton has clawed her way back up to second. My goodness, what a recovery. Hillary's got a lot of momentum here, and she might even make the top side work coming out of turn four. Which And here comes McMullen down to the inside. Happen, and it hasn't been working out. McMullen down to the inside. Hillary's going to work with Trump just briefly, though. She tries to pull out and pass going into turn one. A little bit of a spot maybe to get in there and cut off Hillary. See if he can get under her. Trump just maintaining the lead, has some good speed. Here's a little Reva back up. There they that go, three wide party. again. They're Reform. trying to make it three wide again. The Reform Party is really trying, but they're really by themselves right now. They're Hillary covered. by herself on the inside. No. With help it from Stein. Like Castle and Jill Stein are going to try to get, well, Jill Stein's bailed that, but Daryl Castle tried to help her out, and I think he did. He did help her out, and Hillary Clinton goes back to the lead, leading lap number seven away from Donald Trump. 
Now Trump and Stein going three wide, and they bail out of it. Gary Johnson now pushing Trump, coming through turn number two. We have the four kind of uh, predicted leaders leading the field right now. McMullen's showed some speed, though. I think if Evan McMullen can win Utah, maybe he can get up front for this race. Three, four wide again. Four wide. Oh, my goodness. This is just helping Hillary Clinton a lot. Stein goes into second place. Johnson into fourth. Or third, excuse me. Trump is falling quickly through the field. Quite a view. Here comes Jill Stein. Oh, my goodness. Is this going to happen? And here comes Donald Trump. He's going to push He's gonna push Jill Stein to the lead, is he? Johnson's trying to get down below Trump, too. get the speed off. Oh, and Trump bails. Trump bails on Stein. He's going to allow Hillary back to the front. What is Donald Trump doing? He had an opportunity to bury a, his opponent there, and he didn't take it. Evan McMullen has got the independent car back into third place here. Yeah, they've got a personal vendetta against Trump. Again, he's a conservative candidate, and a lot of conservatives do not like Trump, so clearly McMullen's going to want to get around Trump. Here comes Trump to the inside. Is he going to be able to make the pass into turn number one? Well, he's got help by McMullen this time. Oh, and does he? Does he? Oh, Three oh, wide. Almost problem. McMullen wow. down to the inside. He's trying to steal this election. Put Trump in the lead again. Four wide again. Four wide again. That was uh, the Socialist Party wow. down to the inside. He's diving low. Oh, my goodness. Jill Stein is right back in the mix of things. She's going on the inside she to make is three going wide down for the low. lead. Holy she has smoke. Second place over Trump at the moment. Sandwich Hillary? No, they're not. Hillary's going to lead lap number 10 away from Donald Trump and Jill Stein. McMullen in fourth. And, uh, oh, but here comes Trump to the outside. That's a mistake. That was not good. That's a uh, mistake. He needs to have the ref more party help him here. He's just going to fall back. Oh, they bang wheels. McMullen and Trump bang wheels. He was not pleased with Evan McMullen there. Who, Stop. Evan McMullen and he's back to the inside. He's back to third place already. How on earth did he do that? Here comes Jill again. Ooh, Ooh is Stein going to lead a lap here? A lap? No, 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 Trump went with Trump Hillary again. Trump didn't want to keep going with that. There's the reform party back up there for the second or third time. We've seen them take him to third place, and reform is going to go for second, I believe. Oh, my gosh. He's got it right at this moment. Yeah, Ro Roque de la Fuente now put him in the second. Oh, my goodness. Stein back on the inside. Yeah, but Stein has no help down there. I don't know how. Yeah, she did not. It looked like Levera was going to help her, but. He's really trying to. He can do to get in the lead here. You got to appreciate his effort. Gary Johnson falling quickly through the field. He's already back to. Oh, three wide for the lead. It's I Donald think. Trump going by himself to the inside. The Constitution going behind Hillary Clinton. Three wide. Constitution supporting Hillary Clinton. That's a we new one. the people through turns one and two. It's a close race for the lead now. Still. Oh my goodness. Oh, looks like he's gonna go a little side drop off the constitution. Side draft off the constitution. Not a side drop. Castle is moving up into second position. Is he gonna try to make a move on to Hillary into turn number three? No. Castle continues in third. An eye on Gary Johnson back there. Watch him go to the inside here. I think he's going to be up there in the top three. The here comes lap. Donald. Here comes the Donald. Later, Donald Trump with a run for the lead. Side by side, it was almost <laughs> dead even at the line. Boy, if that's going to be the finish, we may have uh, have to count some uh, hanging chads in Florida. But, oh, three wide again. And it's Gary point. Johnson, just like you said, Matt, going down uh, to the inside, exactly taking second said. place. Watch out for this guy. He knows how to run in this pack right now. Johnson's been really performing like a NASCAR driver right now. He's been hanging out at the back of the field and then makes a run up. And we're about halfway through the race here, so it's starting to get towards crunch time. Well, now here's the question is, look at how close. Come right back up in the lap. I mean, he was at the dead end of the field. And now he's up there fighting for the lead. 
Well, you got to wonder now as Donald Trump leads lab number 14, y you've got to wonder if uh, Gary Johnson is going to, well, no, he's going to pull out. Oh, that was a mistake because it's going to allow Hillary, I think, back into second place as the third party and candidates. Jill Stein, she has enough horsepower to get past Oh, what guys. the heck? Why did Ooh, Jill Stein do Jones that? Three pushy. wide. My goodness. This is helping it's Donald Trump right now. now between the third party. And Hillary yeah. down to the inside. Is Hillary going to take the lead away from Trump? We're coming to 10 laps to go this time by. Just like that, the Reform Party is right back up in second place. And that we finally have the Socialists returning to the front, or coming up to the front for the very first time. Yeah. Where this, he got up was fifth place, and now he's pushing making a move for four. Or she. It's actually oh, she. Trump. I am sorry. Trump gets antsy. Oh, that was a mistake, Donald. That was Gary a mistake. Johnson. That means Gary Johnson Donald goes to P2. Trump's run out of the last Oh, that was some there. contact there. E. Look at that. Hillary is enjoying the sight in your mirror. Gary Johnson is like the third fastest car in this race. You want to see him pushing you. Evan what? McMullen's kind of dropped off a little bit. He had some runs at the start, but he's kind of hanging out all on his own at the back end of the field at this current moment in time. Now, this is something interesting. If these three can work together, Clinton, Johnson, and Trump, they can pull away from the rest of the field and have this race all to themselves. Oh, easily. And Johnson pulls out oh, of line. Oh, Johnson had a different idea. Yeah. Well, is we'll that see. Is that going to allow, say, Jill Stein, Evan McMullen get back up there? There's Roque yep. de la Fuente continues to ride in fourth position now the field is coming back together and here comes Trump down to the inside Donald Trump I mean this is a head-to-head -head fight this time they don't have any drafting help really this time nobody's really helping each other now it's gonna be Johnson Gary later in the Johnson, straightaway but at that oh point, he was gonna hold with Trump but he decided to go with Hillary I go with Hillary. The Constitution looks like it might pull up behind Donald here but Trump led the lap that's the important thing. This is where we're going to get down to crunch time here. Is who can lead the lap? Well, <laughs> the bonus points. Constitution Party put them in second place. Daryl Castle, helping Trump to the front. Yeah, the the socialists are up there too. Down to the inside, being followed by the Green Party and the Independents. Now here comes the Constitution down to the inside. Oh my gosh. Oh, is Daryl oh, Castle going to lead a lap here at Michigan? Ooh, no, Hillary. Hillary's not playing Trump nice. There. Hillary wanted to go outside of Trump. No, work. Hillary's gonna push uh, push Trump away no. from that. She wants it head to head between the two of them. Gary Johnson stuck behind the slower Constitution car apparently because he's getting antsy behind him. And do we have a pass for the lead? Hillary down to the inside, coming out of turn number two. Do we have a pass? No, the Constitution Party's gonna go with Trump, push him down the back straightaway. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, he's still right. He's still just barely on the rear quarter panel end of uh, Hillary's car, but he's got more help, but he pulls in behind him. And Clinton takes the lead. Clinton back. takes the lead oh, side by time. side again. Now here comes here comes the socialist. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sickle and hammer into second. La Riva into second. Well, briefly, Trump was able to pull by her by the line. As we're coming up to five laps to go, and what is Donnie doing? What is he doing? You hoo hooed for Lariva to get up there. Oh my goodness! And it's wow! Look at this! It's all the third-party candidates. Back off here and go to the inside. Never mind. He's too quick. Wow! He pushed the Constitution into second position. Constitution Party. Donald Trump better go with the Constitution to get up there. Daryl Castle <laughs> in the Constitution Party car. Who would have thought this? This is an upset, that's for sure. Oops, Running in second position. Goes. That's the end of that run. And Donald Trump going to move up into second place. Is he going to play nice with Hillary here? Crunch time we here. absolutely have five laps to go. You're right, Matt. Five to go. There goes Trump. Down on the inside, is he gonna make it work? Where's Daryl Castle gonna go? Johnson. Gary Johnson hasn't had a run on these lead guys in a little bit. He's gonna have a run coming up here soon. He's Where's not Evan McMullen? Where's that independent car? Is he gonna try to get back up there? What about the reform car? De La Fuente. 
possibilities are endless here. Stein has been oh, the, the Constitution pulls out on Trump, but Trump is going to lead the lap away from Hillary. He pulled out to block Hillary, and now... If Hillary goes to the outside, that's a chance. Ah, oh, I did not stay there. We've got all the leaders lined up here. Well, we did. And now Hillary is going to fall back behind Gary Johnson at least. Is this good for Trump or is it not? Because Hillary can get that momentum back and maybe get him at the very end of the race. I think this is the know. better thing for the third parties. Because what they need is for her to get behind. Oh, it's too late. Here comes there. McMullen. Really McMullen was pushing Hillary to the front. Oh, she's got such a good car. Side by eye side. Eye. Keep an eye on McMullen on the outside. Now who's going to lead this lap? McMullen's dropping pretty good he behind dropped. the third parties. He had a run. He just lost her. Trump now Hillary pulled out, but look Hillary at this. Did you see that? Hillary pulled out, but she didn't pass him by the line. Now she's going to get around him with help from Johnson. What's going to happen to Trump here? What's going to happen to Johnson? What about Lariva? She moves uh, up the block. Here they come Trump. To the inside. I feel like the the outside lane is a bit faster here, boys. And McMullen is now there. McMullen is now there, and Trump made a mistake. Big mistake. I think his car that was a big mistake. Where he can catch up on. Oh, McMullen is like trying oh, to push it. Johnson oh. moves up into second. Needs, there we go. That's the move Johnson needs to make to win the race right there. He needs to keep Trump behind to him as long as he can. Oh, man. We're going to come around to the white flag next time by. The next lap is going to settle it. Johnson makes low. a mistake. No. Gary, Not what are you good. doing? Here comes Donald. Trump down to the inside. Two to go. Lap and a half to go. Here we go, guys. Trump might have made that move a little earlier than probably would would have been good. He's being pushed by the socialists right now. Hillary falls back to third. Talked about him. He's right there in the mix with one left to go. Evan McMull and look, Lariva gets in between Cl Clinton and Trump. That might be good for the socialist liberation team. Here we go. Trump takes the white flag, racing with the socialist party for the lead here. Hillary behind Trump. It's Trump. Wow. <laughs> Lariva, Clinton. If they hold still beside Hillary, she won't be able to make a move down through turn Here three. comes Hillary down Here's to the Hillary. inside. Here comes Hillary. Side by side. Trump Gary Johnson Johnson's going with her. Trump. Johnson helps her. Oh, oh, Trump it's on the outside. Here come. No, Gary's going to push Hillary okay. Clinton. Will Gary come to the inside? Here comes Gary oh. Johnson down to the inside. But it's going to be Hillary Clinton winning the presidential oh. race. Wow. How what a race. Hillary Clinton, with help from Gary Johnson, takes the presidential race. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> Hillary Clinton will win the presidency. Let's see the entire results here. With Clinton winning by six thousand or six hundredths of a second over Donald Trump, seven hundredths over Gary Johnson. Fourth was Roque de la Fuente the for the Reform, Reform Party. Party. We saw that. how strong they were during the race. Gloria Estela Lariva for the Socialism and Liberation uh, Party finishes in fifth position. McMullen, the Independent, sixth. Daryl Castle, who had such a great run through most of the race, finishes in seventh. Jill Stein in eighth and final position for the Green Party. So there you have it. The victor is Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. That's how we're calling it. That's how this prediction went. So, folks, how do you feel about this, Joe and Matt? Hillary Clinton, the President of the United States. Well, that was a heck of a race, and it was very exciting. Um, give credit to whoever made these beautiful skins. Oh, wait a minute, that was me. Um, <clears throat> but it was fun, and it's whatever. I don't know. The President... The day-to-day -day lives of Americans doesn't really change that much based off of who the president is anyway, so whatever. Matt, any uh, final I thoughts? I can agree with Joe there. Uh, definitely some great racing. I think, honestly, the winner of today's race was Gary Johnson. What an effort put up by him. Fought from the back of the pack up to the front. What are you Hillary. talking about? The winner of today's race has to be Roque de la Fuente. I mean, come on. Well, no, I think it's Jill Stein. Well, yeah, um, Jill Stein. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, a great effort by all the guys. I mean, they really, and girls, and they girls. put a, up a good show, and I think it should be fun. And hopefully the Electoral College sees this and says, hey, maybe we should take this into consideration. We can only hope. So, Hillary Clinton is the winner of the presidential race. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. Feel free to share it if you did really enjoy it. And subscribe for more content like this. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to Joe Donahue and M Racing 89 as well for more stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Hillary Clinton, congratulations. You're the President of the United States.